no supplementaries. But there are no supplementaries. And the bench would change. I'd just, I'd just like to join with colleagues. I can follow up on that, please. please. I'd also like to join with colleagues in, in sending our best wishes to uh, 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 Deputy uh, Kelleher Fitzgerald. Uh, and Claire Daly McWallace, and uh, I think all four made a very uh, distinguished contri contribution to, to this House. And uh, obviously, our own technical group in particular will we, we, we'll miss the contributions of, uh, of Deputy Daly and Deputy Wallace in, uh, over the remaining period of this stall. Uh, Tanisha, I just want to ask you briefly I know it's been raised uh, briefly earlier on. You're Minister for Agriculture for five years, and um, we, like I think most of the country, uh, and we are a nation of animal lovers, uh, were disgusted last night by the Primetime Investigates programme, which seemed to indicate you know, this uh, huge wanton slaughter of dogs, uh, 6,000 or so year in, year out, simply because they weren't uh, fast enough. Um, and uh, also the fact that the, the licensing of knackeries uh, and the conditions there seem to be totally appalling. So, uh, I mean, what actions are you going to take, and is the Minister going to take in response to that report? Uh, in relation to these matters, uh, yeah, because you know, I think a lot of the country is, is outraged uh, and, and wants some uh, urgent action. Now we have the new Act of Welfare of Greyhounds uh, bill on the floor as well about exports. We were told we seem to have been told a pack of lies actually about exports that uh, that there is exporting to countries with deplorable animal uh, conditions, animal welfare conditions, and nothing has been done about it, ministers. So I'd ask you because because you held that portfolio for so long, and the current uh, deputy creed. Uh, I mean, what are, you, what are you going to do about it? Uh, Tanish, yeah. I'm, I'm happy. I, uh, Mr. Creed is here as well. Um, uh, we spoke about it this morning uh, before leaders' questions. Um, uh, we are going to, to act on the basis of, of the evidence that was put forward uh, in a very helpful uh, but also very graphic way from what I'm told last night. Um, uh, it is not acceptable uh, that, um, uh, that, that greyhounds uh, uh, if, they, if they are to be put down because of injury or for whatever other reason, uh, are not done uh, in an appropriate manner with the supervision of a vet. Uh, the days of uh, sending a, a dog to the knackery uh, or to the abattoir uh, are long since over, or they should be. Um, uh, and so a legal activity will be pursued. Uh, we have the legislation now in relation to animal welfare legislation and indeed new legislation for the greyhound industry. Uh, to be able to ensure that we have a proper, transparent um, uh, system uh, that tracks uh, where dogs are, who owns them, uh, where they travel to, who they're sold to, uh, and so on. Uh, and so if there is overbreeding going on within this sector, uh, which I suspect perhaps there is, uh, uh, that is also uh, something that from a policy perspective the government needs to look Thanks, at. Uh, this is a sector that the government supports, or that the state supports financially significantly. It is an important sector. I think uh, it does need to be supported, but it also uh, needs to stamp out illegal activity or um, uh, animal welfare concerns that have been outlined last night. The first 